Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> What's going on, everyone, today? It's the man child. All right, so we got some newer Masterverse or New Eternia or Masters Universe New Eternia figures in or figure in. We got Jitsu. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty cool. Now, Jitsu is part of the Masterverse Wave 6 of figures, which is I mean, Wave Five's not even out yet. And I, I got early access to them from a place called the Paul Mart store. I've left if you guys any questions who or what that is, I'll give you a link in the in the um comments, right, of what that store is and where they're where these guys are coming from. And I think he's still in stock. A little markup on him, ain't too bad, like something you find on eBay, but it's the only place seems to have them in. Here's a quick look at the back of the box, right? It's unique if you like the uh, Masterverse art. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's its own thing. Um, now, this is all Wave 6 figures. I also have Battle Arm and He-Man, so I'll bring him in and show you real quick. Here's a quick look or tease at the new Tyranny of Battle Arm and He-Man. Check that out. Yeah, it looks great. I love that head sculpt. Just unique. And you can always change out different He-Man heads you didn't like it. And of course, when I get to review, we'll do all that. But yeah, looking really cool. So aside to Battle Arm and He-Man, or new Tyranny Battle Arm and He-Man, we also got some in here on Jitsu. And obviously, we're doing Jitsu. Uh, I got a feeling some in here was right around the corner because they already showed images, part of Wave 6, and I have a feeling the store is going to be getting you soon. So I can't, I'm really looking forward to some in here. They, they look, this whole wave really is a cool wave of characters for this um, particular line. Here's yeah, a quick look at the new Attorney Jitsu's uh, bio if you want to pause and read that. Here's a quick look around with Jitsu out of the box. Okay, and bringing Jitsu in for a closer look. Let's check out the head and face sculpt. Yeah, look at that. Incredible. So realistic, the way they're, um, like I said, the way they're doing these sculpts and face details in this Masterverse line for, for the newer figures anyway. But you look at, so you can see the way the eyes are done. Uh, pupils are painted in there. It's awesome. A little goatee's got going. Um, he had a lower beard up here. It's the way it's sculpted, the paint, detail. Even the, um, yeah, it's, you know, the paint on the skin is pretty cool. Now, that's one point I want to make, too, with this Jitsu for the Masterverse line is that it's a very light-skinned character, where Jitsu, as we always known him from the vintage origins or classics, was a darker, just the skin was very dark. Um, I think it's interesting they kind of change it up a little bit, but I, that's what the Masterverse line is doing. Anyway, as far as the articulation with the head, right, f uh, forward, back, right, left to right, rotate all around. Now, yeah, check out that. One piece back there. I think they call it a. I think it's a komage. I think they believe they call it the samurai. So it's a bun. It's a loop piece of hair that comes. So they shave the top. And usually comes around. You have a braid and it just sits on top of the head like that. It's pretty cool. Um, now it's all sculpted. It seems like I don't know if it's might be glued on. It might be like a separate sculpt and glued to the center. It looks like. So it doesn't articulate. I can't see taking it off unless you cut it. I don't know. The cool if it popped off with a peg or something. But it doesn't look like that. Anyway, you see the details, pretty cool, right? And there's all back, the way the back of the hair is all sculpted is neat. Um, is that a neck piece? Branches in with the back where the hair and the head ends, so you can see the articulation that way. So moving on to his lower armor, yeah, pretty cool. Kind of, it's uh, yeah, it looks like something belongs in the Masterverse line. It's sort of reminiscent to the original design or origins of what the classics did, but again, its own thing. Seems like it's um. Let me see. So it feels like it's pretty soft. So you can see all the details in the front there, right? It's got all take little dark orange, the gold, um, the front, and there's the back. Check check that out. Wow. I just noticed that now looking at the back of them. Now I'm focusing my eyes on it. Wow, it's like a big moth. Wow, I even got the legs and stuff sculpted in. Wow, that's cool. That's really different. Huh. And as, so what as far as the armor, let's see as far as let's see what the buck looks like underneath. So I think we pop, I'm gonna pop these two straps like that. We'll pop this one first. And then pop the other one off like so. And now let's pop the head off. See, okay, it's a typical Revelay style ball peg. And there's our armor there. So it's pretty soft, you know, flexible. All right, it's kind of the, yeah, what it looks like on the inside. Here's a quick look with Jitsu without his armor on. And uh, I left the lower piece on still, but it's a typical, looks like just a regular He Man buck from the Revelation or the new Eternia buck, it seems like. Yeah, something like that. Um,. Okay, there's the front and the back, and with the armor off, we'll just articulate. Okay, we got our ab crunch, go forward and back. And spin at the waist. Well, this character's tight. Spin at the waist. Um, let's do the arms, too, while we have the armor off. So, with the arms, all right, forward. Let's see. Okay, forward. Oh, wow, this one's stuck, too. There it goes. Down, forward, back. Okay, you know, bicep swivel, all stuff we've seen before. Pinless joints can bend all the way up like so. Um, other, We'll get to the glove in a second. Other arms are all the same, all right? Just like that. Now, he has... As far as the arms, too. All right, let's do this right, because this is more important to glove. So, pretty cool. You know, we got our typical jitsu-style karate chop 
glove. It's done in a vac, like a gold. It looks like a vac metal. Can spin. Okay, but it um, and obviously the fingers can't fold. They never did. And it's the only articulation it has. Now it does not come off that I can see. So if I, I mean, maybe up the heat there's a big peg. I'm not sure how it's on. I, this was the same way with the um, Revelation of Fisto. But, yeah, this does not come off, at least my figure, without modifying it. And that's, I don't think it was intended to. Um, that would have been cool, you know, because then maybe you can change it out. With, I don't know, the Origins glove, which we'll bring in soon. Or maybe a Fisto hand, a regular hand, but no, it doesn't do that. So, let me bring it in closer, check out the details on it. It's, it's a pretty, pretty cool sculpting, you know. Like I said, just in a vac metal, so it's kind of what it looks like front and back. And then moving back to the left side, so we have our typical hand. Now we have a closed gripping hand on a hinge joint. All right. Let's see how that pops up. There's our peg there. And then this piece of armored, this little forearm, you know, armored thing can come off. So we wanted to remove that, and that's what that looks like close up. And then he also comes in an open hand or a hand for holding the shield or karate chop hand. That's just going to pop in like so, right? It's also on a hinge joint going in and out and spin up and down. All right, so moving down for a second. So I kept the armor off. We looked at the glove. We'll get a little more detail in a little bit with the, when I bring in the Origins one. Um, I put this forearm guard and the, the closed fist back. I have no use for that open hand, but I just want to show you. Somebody, you're not familiar how it goes in. So let's check out that lower um, weight, the Samurai Armored Guard here. Now it's pretty cool. Got a sculpted rope going all the way around. Got these pieces and they're pretty flexible. Okay, I didn't go, you, like move them like more or less like this. It can actually move around the whole body. Yeah, painted orange, pretty cool detail with the sculpting. Got gold, you know, the trim on both sides, and obviously the two halves. Now, cool too. You also have a little, I don't know if this comes out. It's glued in. Okay, so you have a little holder for a sword, which will bring the sword soon. That's pretty neat. I like that they added that. And then it looks like you have a little clip back here, a button to remove this. And it'll just pop off like so. Spin around. There's your, there's your lower armor here. Take a closer look at that. Pretty cool. Here's a quick look at Jitsu without any armor on. So, yeah, again, just all, yeah, typical Revelation buck. Um, loincloth, all the same deal, same exact belt that we expect from the Masterverse or new uh, Revelation guys, right? Longer loincloth here, soft, front, back, flexible anyway. It doesn't come off. You can't remove it. Um, articulation, too. So, we'll do all this without the armor on. Legs go all the way out, right? Let's see. Awesome front kick. Go back, bend all the way up at the knee. Pinless joints, of course. Got the cool big style Motu boots, right? No, they spin. As far as the foot, go down and up. Spin left to right. It's kind of moves on a rocker. Now, what's interesting with these little, the feet's got a little bit of redesign in the regular He-Man boots, it looks like. See that? It's a different foot. It's almost got like a ninja toe cut in there. That's, that's different. So, I threw the upper armor back on. More or less a quick look without the bottom armor on. If you didn't want that, it's more traditional look. Check that out. So checking out Jitsu's accessories, only comes with a couple of them. He has this typical orange style sword, katana sword, I guess. Um, pretty neat. It's like a translucent orange. We'll see through. Uh, you know, it's got a golden handle painted up top and the bottom. But it's a cool design. And it's not too rubbery, so I like that. And then for his last accessory, we get this cool face mask. Check that out. Like a ninja mask. Check out the teeth, the way it's painted in there. Right, it's all orange, it's like to match the sword. Now this is it's all, it's a rubbery, it's a rubbery material, but that's different. Okay, and it looks like I'm just gonna towards the back of the head, I'm gonna push it down, see how it slips on, something like that. All right, over the nose, you're gonna adjust a little bit in the back. Check that out. All right, and we'll put the sword in the other hand like so, and we'll take another quick look at Jitsu. What is uh, now we got a face mask on, sword in hand, all his armored and hand ready in a karate chop pose. Check that out. Here's a quick look at the sword, how it fits in that sword holder. I'm going to push in like that. So for a little quick side-by-side -side comparison, obviously there's our Masterverse Jitsu, and we have our Origins Jitsu. And that's obviously where it all started, where we all started from the concept, from the vintage. And the Origins um, is very close to the vintage with better sculpt, detail, articulation, all that. Uh, yeah, really a whole different redesign, even from the classics. I have a classics in card. I'll bring them in a second, but... It's uh, it's interesting as you say you can see like the skin the skin tone um the armor now it's you know again it's has it's reminiscent of that armor but it is changed up so, now, especially for the back too where that just had yeah different design this is more of a sculpted like a yeah moth or something pretty cool but it's still yeah it still kind of stayed in that style and the swords are very close but obviously this master versus detail and painted highlights and handle pieces and the big thing too is the gloves. Even the vintage glove, look how much bigger the 
the vintage glove is over the Masterverse. And it's a different, it's a shinier gold, like a darker gold vac metal, where this is lighter. Um, would have been cooler if this one was a little bigger. I mean, it's okay, but I'm really surprised at that. It would have been cool, too, if you could you can remove the um, Origins glove and switch out the hands, which I, I can't seem to. But even the heads, let me switch the heads around for a minute, even though they don't even match. But I want to just show you how the ball pegs work. Yeah, they don't match whatsoever because of the skin tone, but... um. Same ball peg, and now we'll see with the glove with the Origins. You can get the Origins glove off, and this is the peg. I cannot remove this glove on this. You know, maybe I got to heat it up, but it feels like I'm going to snap something in there. I'm not familiar with it. And I know I couldn't get Fistos off either. And I think they're a different peg, but that would have been cool, see? And maybe there's a way you can modify. I'm not getting into that in this video, but kind of what it would look like on that hand. That would look really cool I was, yeah, on this um, Masterverse body if you could switch it out. And as far as that face, cool face mask, uh, you can use it on the Origins, but you got to be careful. So I'm really stretching out. You probably want to heat it up. You want to use it. Eh, looks all right. A little silly. It's just something with the eyes and the way it is, but you can get it to work. I also want to try the Origins armored on the Masterverse Jitsu. I, as far as the color, too, it doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't really say you can't. I can pop one side because of the aesthetics of the his buck, but I can't really get the other side unless you heat it. And, stretch, and even then, it doesn't say... It's really tight in there, and then it, the stomach showing kind of doesn't look right, but kind of how it would go on. And here's a Masterverse Jitsu armor on uh, Origins Jitsu. Check that out. Works pretty good. It does pop on the side. You can get it together, but let's see how that fits. Here's kind of a quick look between my what the classics I have in car. You see the size of the glove, the head design, the way they did the armor. Very reminiscent. Go back to the vintage. That was the whole idea of this line, but obviously a lot more modernized. And you had a difference in this. Um, Jitsu, just with the head, skin color, armored, the lower piece. And speaking of the classics, so I got a yeah, classics He-Man with his armored off. Um, got the vintage Inspire head that the classics came up with. So that's a comparison against the two bucks and what they look like together. With any armors on, so you can see the difference in aesthetics. It's the front and the back. So being that I have a loose classics with the aesthetics, same with his Jitsu and all the other one, most of the other figures. Let's uh, let's make a Samurai He-Man, right? They did that in the 2000X toy line. So let's see how this piece fits. Should fit, I'm thinking. Not like that, yep. Push the button right on. Check that out. That looks like. And we're putting our armor on. I did have to pop, I had to heat and pop this head off. I didn't want to show all that, but that's how it would go on. And we'll lock these uh, side straps. And we'll even try to put this piece on He Man's head. And it's completely different, obviously, with the hair, but see what that looks like. Uh, yeah, it's a little strange because it goes out so far, but it can work. Most heads, I think. That looks like. Okay, we got our classic He Man set up as Samurai Classic He Man. <laughs> but it, everything fits pretty good. I had to you know, I see like these straps are popping because the aesthetics on the um, muscles are a lot larger on the chest and abdomen. Got to heat it up, but it does work pushing together. It's a little tight. Um, face mask is okay. Depends on the head. Obviously, He Man's hair is wider. Uh, this belt piece works really well. It sort of fits in hand, but it's kind of the front and the back. And of course, there's a little comparison against our Revelation Fisto and our new Masterverse Jitsu. Um, what's interesting too is now Fisto's glove, a lot of people didn't know, was die cast metal. It's actually a metal glove. And Jitsu's glove is, yeah, just plastic, it feels like. And it doesn't matter. Nope, it's just plastic. I think they would have went metal with that too and a little bigger, but that's what we got. Just a quick comparison on our new Jitsu and some of the newer Masterverse figures that. Should be coming out soon to retail or hit Big Bad Toy Store. I got them a little early, but, you know, we got our catch, our Zodak, Shira, Hordak, which are, I did reviews on all of them. Awesome figures. I mean, the Masterverse line is getting really good, but it's kind of all those guys together. Okay, overall, I think this new Masterverse Jitsu is a pretty solid figure. I like the armor redesign. Now it's cool. You can uh, use it on the classics like I showed if you have a He-Man or Classics Jitsu out and you want to use that armor. So the lower Samurai armor can come off too when you work on the classics, or you can just remove from this figure and not... Use it all and just keep that vintage inspired top piece armored on like the yeah vintage origins has. Um, the glove is pretty cool. I kind of wish it was a little bigger, and it was a little more easier to remove to switch out with the origins glove because you see how easy that comes off. Now it's obviously just some type of big peg under there. Maybe you have to heat it, and remove it. I know my Fisto one. I I couldn't get it off without. I felt like I was gonna snap something. Maybe you gotta boil in some hot water and listen. You customize or modify. You can do anything. Maybe you can. Switch it out with that Origins glove, which I kind of like a little better. But, you know, for this figure, it's okay. It works. does what it has to do. That face mask is really cool, too. And you can also use it on other figures. Like I tried on He-Man a couple other guys off camera. 
it's hit or miss, you know, it just depends on the head sculpt, how it's stretched out, but it was obviously specifically designed for this um, jitsu, you know, just his menacing eyes and an arrow head, it works perfect, and yeah, that's what it's for, so... Otherwise, and it's finally cool to have a Masterverse Jitsu to go against our Masterverse Fisto, you know, go hand in hand. So I hope that answers all you guys' questions. I hope everybody's doing great. And until next time, take care.